Teachers who were locked out of remote learning today are among those speaking out about how they feel following the events of last night. WGN's Brona Tumulty sat down with a couple of them today. Brona? Good evening, guys. Yeah, we were down here on West Madison Street, and for the last hour or so, CARES have been driving past us and past CPS headquarters, of course, honking their horns and making their support known for remote learning. Undoubtedly, a lot of problems created this morning for for parents with the upheaval last night. Some of those CPS parents, though, are also CPS teachers. And while some came to school today and will still get paid, others feel that hitting pause on in-person learning for right now is the best option. Until cases decline, class is online. That was the message this evening as hundreds of cares drove down West Madison Street right by CPS headquarters, making a lot of noise. I think people can see through the rhetoric that was in the mayor's press conference and understand that it was leadership, district leadership, who, who dropped the ball on this one. Hallie Caseda is a third grade teacher at Boone Elementary. Nobody likes remote learning. I don't like it as a mother. I don't like it as a teacher. Uh, but I much prefer it to sick kids, to sick families, to... Uh, overwhelmed hospitals. She's also a parent and a member of the Chicago Teachers Union. Last night, I mean, look, <laughs> as a um, teacher and a parent, I saw Chicago's top doctor stand next to the mayor and tell all of us that the Chicago Department of Public Health doesn't have any more rapid tests. A shortage in rapid tests combined with rising cases fueled by the Omicron variant means she's among those not comfortable right now with in-person learning. It's like a, a pause on in-person to protect each other so that we can go back to in-person again. She remained at home today but was locked out of the online setting and her pay will be docked. Canceling of classes, it not only hurts families, but it's trying to compel teachers back into unsafe buildings by um, giving us more financial instability in the middle of a pandemic. CPS data shows there were 72 COVID cases reported amongst adults when classes kicked off again on Monday after the winter break. There were about two and a half times as many cases reported amongst students the same day. Reported cases dropped yesterday to 48 and 89 amongst adults and students respectively. I believe that schools are safe. Catherine Rose is also a CPS teacher at a city high school and she came to class today with her own three children in tow because she had nowhere else to take them. I feel like the the basic mitigations recommended by public health officials are being met at, in, at the schools that I attend and my children attend. She feels like decisions going forward need to be made on a school by school basis and is worried about the devaluation of public education when such upheaval can happen hours before the school day starts. I am very concerned about that, the dismantling of public education. As a teacher, I feel supported, yeah. not so much as a mother, not so much as a parent. That teacher is not my enemy. What happens next? Well, that remains to be seen. But Casada says she personally would feel better if there was, at minimum, more access right now to tests. If you can't get a test in your neighborhood, how can you feel safe sending your child to school? Again, that steady stream of cares is continuing down West Madison. We do know from CBS data that over 90% of the district is vaccinated. But again, what happens tomorrow remains up in the air. We'll have a CBS headquarters, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Thank you, Brona.